at outdoor activities and recreation. So um, timber is not just about cutting down a tree. It's a very holistic, has a multi-level impact on our communities, and it's still alive but barely hanging in there. Can I follow up, Minister? Uh, Senator Meyer. So um, thank you. So with the new administration, is there a um, glimmer of hope that maybe you'll be able to cut a couple more trees down? Um, yes, sir. Uh, through the chair, um, I, I was I, I was surprisingly ple uh, optimi pleased with the optimistic outlook that I found there, and uh, uh, we've invited one of them to come back to speak to our Southeast Conference gathering next month uh, here in Juneau. So we're hoping to have one of the administration folks uh, come and articulate that um, so, uh, outlook. Madam Chair, you know I'm, I'm a guest here in Juneau, and I, I love it down here in the Southeast. But I'm told all the trees around here are, are second growth. And, and, and if so, is timber a renewable energy? Senator, um, uh, through the chair, you know, um, I, I, I don't like to use terms like a second growth because it's really a, a political term that gets kicked back and forth with different meanings and levels of fundraising angst. Um, if you take a look at these old growth trees, those are second growth to the millennial they were planted in. I mean, all of these trees um, had a genesis much you know, earlier than, than uh, what we see. And so, yes, the, the growth uh, lifespan of a tree is very long in Southeast. It's about 120 years. Um, and it's not an appropriate activity to happen everywhere. But there are appropriate areas for timber to happen. It is a renewable resource. And what we're seeing with some of the residual uh, uh, uses of the industry, uh, they're making the pianos and doing a lot of different, you know, specialty cuts. Then we're using those residuals to heat our homes, our schools, our greenhouses, and uh, making an impact to make much more sustainable communities. Okay. Madam Chair, if I can just follow up again on the